Hey guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. In today's video here, we'll be working on an engine that you can find in Jeep Compass and Jeep Renegade, guys. And it will be super helpful video if you have uh, engine light on and code P2096, guys. Sometimes that code can be, uh, uh, you can have another code as well, P0100. You may have both of them or you may just have P2096. We'll explain what causes that and how to fix it. A few things can cause that, at least five, six things I can uh, think about that, guys. Maybe even seven, so make sure you stay until the end. We have the engine out of the car. Why? Pretty simple, guys. We removed it because uh, we did engine replacement. In the meantime, guys, we made about 100 videos how to replace pretty much every component on that engine. Everything from small sensors to head gaskets and timing chains, guys. Uh, why we do all that? Pretty simple guys, because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need guys in return, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. We're still in the process of making about 100 videos about engine codes, diagnostics and common problems on that engine as well. Uh, any tools and parts that you need to fix that code or your Jeep guys and the scanner that we use will share all the links in the description of the video below for your convenience. So please check it out. Let me show you okay now what we have okay and what can cause that code. So. Uh, this is guys the scanner that we have right here. Many of you constantly ask me, okay, what scanner do you use and what scanner you, you will recommend? Usually you have a black engine cover, ours is white, we repainted ours, but it was it used to be uh, black and you will see that as we go in the video. Uh, this scanner guys works on every American car, you can see Jeep as well. Every, almost every European car. Okay, right there. Check it out, even Lamborghinis, Bentleys, and it works on all Asian vehicles as well guys. So. It's a, uh, oh, I accidentally clicked to enter here. It's amazing too, guys, a tool that I will definitely, definitely recommend. Uh, we use that all the time. It can access every computer in your car, read and delete codes and see live data for every computer in your car. So codes that can be triggered, guys. Okay, uh, things that can trigger that code actually P2096. Okay, let's explain what can cause that. Okay, and how to fix it now. So this code guys, okay, can be caused by so many things. I'm going to pop that engine cover open guys, pretty simple, you just grab the cover, okay, and pull it with two hands, it attaches to four posts on the engine, one here, two, three, and four guys. I will remove the intake boot, I have everything pretty loosened so I can guys, okay, save you a little bit of time, but if you want to see how to remove and replace different components, we have all these videos on the channel. Number one guys, the reason will be uh, not getting enough fuel. You have the fuel injectors on the back side. Okay, right here. See fuel injectors in the number one. Then you have number two, three, and four. So if guys you have a cocked fuel injectors or even one, that code can be triggered by that guys. It's uh, pretty easy to trigger that code and you can try running few additives, okay, but it doesn't always fix that problem and we have a video how to replace a fuel injector if you need to. Number two guys, it could be a quaked fuel filter. The fuel filter I think on this vehicle is integrated in the fuel pump. Uh, I think the same fuel pump is used in Dodge Dart. We have a video how to replace it on the Dodge Dart actually, so it will be about the same procedure, I think. And a uh, quaked fuel filter can cause that as well. Another thing guys, it could be fuel regulator, okay, fuel regulator that's uh, not building enough pressure or a weak fuel pump. This is very, very uh, actually guys common as well. Another thing, it could be guys, uh, you can have a rough running engine, okay, but what can cause that? It could be because of spark plugs, misfiring spark plugs. You have the wrong kind of spark plugs, spark plugs are wore out or you need to replace your spark plugs. That can be caused by uh, bad spark plugs as well. And uh, most of the times you will even get a misfiring codes if you have bad spark plugs, guys. Another thing, it could be a large vacuum leak, not a small leak. I'm talking about large vacuum leak. Vacuum leak is any air that the engine didn't meter, didn't know about, guys, and it got it. Okay, that will happen. Now, some Jeeps will have the mass airflow sensor. Some rely only on the MAP sensor, which is on the back side of the engine to calculate how much air you get. So. Check for intake manifold gaskets, check for uh, throttle body gasket, make sure that all the hose clamps are tight on the intake boot and make sure you don't have any vacuum leaks. We have a special video that talks about vacuum leaks, guys. Another thing that can cause that. Okay, it could be, guys, uh, it could be uh, uh, air leak, okay. I'm talking about air leak, exhaust leak from the uh, manifold gasket, okay, right here, or 
uh, oxygen sensor number one okay can cause that as well uh, early guys because that air can be sucked okay and it will be uh, detected after the exhaust and uh, that will indicate that uh, you guys have a problem okay and it could be just exhaust leak causing that as well another thing it could be uh, it could be a corked catalytic converter it can uh, it can trigger that code as well but often if you have a bad catalytic converter it, you will have another code that will be called t04200 uh, in some cases okay i think the renegade jeep renegade uses the mass airflow sensor the compass doesn't uh, it could be a bad mass airflow sensor but if you have that call if you have that problem you will have code p0100 as well guys so you need to check that one as well but uh, the oxygen sensor that you will guys need to take care of okay most likely is the downstream oxygen sensor it's very likely that you have a bad oxygen sensor guys and we have a video on the channel that explains how to replace that now uh, i'll show you you have the next scene uh, you see the next scene guys with the engine put together and we still have the black uh, black engine cover okay and this right there this is your downstream oxygen sensor make sure you don't have leaks from the upstream oxygen sensor catalytic converter is not leaking exhaust manifold gasket and this sensor guys right here is most likely causing your problem this is a really hard code to fix but uh, you just guys need to kind of like know your engine and start uh, start from one point test oxygen sensors test uh, clean mat muff sensor uh, check map sensors vacuum leaks okay spark plugs and uh, check fuel pressure and that way guys you'll find out okay if everything's correct with your vehicle or not so hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you guys next time